Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, I let you know that Microsoft was busy finalizing the next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 24H2 in final preview in the release preview channel, which is KB5055627, which included 14 new features, bug fixes, and it was quite a big update. I'll leave the video link down below and in the end screen. Now, just to let you know that after rolling out the update to the release preview channel insiders, late last week, Microsoft released a new release preview build, which is basically an update to that update for the release preview channel insiders. And the new one is still the same update, 5055627, but the build is 26100.3909 where previously it was 0.3902. So what that means is you will start, if you are in the release preview channel, you would have got another update on your Windows update page. Now, as mentioned, I'll leave the previous video linked because if you want more information, you'll get it all in that video. There are just three changes that Microsoft has rolled out in this new build. So just to keep you guys in the loop, like we like to do on the channel. Now, the first change is Microsoft says they've made some new updates to the new widgets on the lock screen for devices in the European Economic Area, the EEA. And in the stable version, if we just head to our settings, personalization, lock screen, currently it's all or nothing. So you can either turn it off or you've got weather and all the lock screen widgets appear where this is going to be changing, where you will be able to customize your widget, which means you'll be able to choose the different widgets, not just weather and more. So, and Microsoft says more widgets will be customizable in the future. So I think that's a nice move in the right direction. That's the first of three changes um, that Microsoft has made now in the release preview channel with this updated build. And then moving on to the second change, and they've actually pulled a feature which was the windows share feature where you could make last minute edits such as cropping rotating and adding filters to images shared through the windows share window and microsoft says that this change will roll out at a later date so that will not be rolling out as part of the next optional bug fix c release update if you were looking out for that feature and then the third and final change they've made to the build is with this new build is for windows setup where there is a bug fix where i'm just going to mention this where microsoft says that if you install windows 11 version 24h2 with windows setup and run system preparation afterwards the boot file configuration is not properly updated resulting in push button reset options not working so that's the third and final change so we've got a new feature a deprecation and a updated bug fix with this update to the build. Go check that other video out if you would like to see um, the full package, so to speak, of what is rolling out now with the next optional C release update. And I would suggest that that next update would be rolling out either tomorrow, the 22nd, that would be late tomorrow in my region, or next week, Tuesday, starting next week, Tuesday, the 29th, or any time. If it doesn't roll out tomorrow, anytime moving on towards the end of the month. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.